Idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, or IPF for short, it's a chronic, progressive, and ultimately fatal lung disease. It has an average survival of two to three years following diagnosis. The exact mechanisms involved in the pathogenesis of IPF are unclear, but they're thought to involve recurrent injury to the airway epithelium, resulting in an aberrant wound healing response. We want to treat the causative mechanisms as opposed to just the downstream symptoms so that we can prevent the progression of the disease. So target discovery in IPF and in other disease areas traditionally approached by looking at their literature. The sheer volume of data being generated and published every day is simply too difficult for scientific researchers to keep up with. So we need AI and machine learning to basically surface the most confident and relevant data The main aim of the IPF collaboration between AstraZeneca and Benevolent AI is to identify novel targets that could form the basis of successful new treatments. And when we first set out on the collaboration, we worked with the AstraZeneca team to identify and prioritize public and AstraZeneca proprietary data sets that we could use to enhance the Benevolent AI knowledge graph. Through the collaboration, we've identified potential targets and are currently experimentally validating them which has led us to developing more novel procedures, for example, CRISPR screening. So the knowledge graph is our data foundation, where we incorporate lots of different data modalities, including AstraZeneca's valuable proprietary data. We can then apply benevolent AI's uh, machine learning algorithms and AI models to um, uncover un, um, previously unknown connections within the data that's in that graph. The scientists will scrutinise the resulting output and weigh the evidence supporting a particular prediction and devise suitable experimental validation plans for their proposals. Literature tends to focus on a few key findings from any particular study and thereby leaves much of the data in the shadows. Using the UK Biobank, we can incorporate large amounts of data from real patients, again making it more tailored to our specific ask. This approach is important in advancing medicine discovery because it's not enough to just have all of the data and it's not enough to just have machine learning and it's not enough to just have expertise in a particular disease area. You really have to unite all of those things to eliminate bias and identify novel connections among diseases, targets and mechanisms. IPF is a devastating disease with great unmet medical need and to grow our target landscape, we wanted to leverage developments in AI and machine learning. We chose to partner with Benevolent AI because of their vast exper expertise in AI and machine learning and the ability to extract value from knowledge graphs. And the part of the collaboration that was personally my favorite so far is actually um, the target assessment stage. Both the AstraZeneca and the Benevolent scientists get together and we review those targets in depth. And Personally, for me, it's been really um, energizing and exciting to watch um, the AstraZeneca scientists, some of whom have had an entire career specializing in IPF, get excited about new novel targets that the AI has uncovered with strong biological rationale supporting it. Finally, I think one of the most important factors for the success of this collaboration is actually the personal factor. There's a true collaboration between the, within the team and a common shared sense of want in order to bring new therapies to patients with unmet medical need. I think within this collaboration, we already proved the usefulness of knowledge graphs within target identification. But we're also making good strides to use knowledge graphs for other things, such as life cycle management, so the next milestone is the nomination of a target to go into the IPF portfolio so that we can actually get a drug into the clinic and help patients. And uh, after the successes we've had so far, we're feeling really hopeful about what we can achieve by working together.